Hey, good afternoon. It's Sunday. Super glass pressure washing. Just finishing up my taxes. All done with that. Wow. I just feel like I gave birth to an accountant. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be cleaning my aluminum trailer. And I'm going to show everybody how to do that. So stay tuned and we're going to go ahead and get after it. Hey, how you doing today? Don from Super Blast. Um, I'm here to talk about maintenance on an aluminum trailer. And the product I use is Clear Pink Power. And this thing product features, it's a fast acting high potency hydrochlorophic acid formulated for use on machine finish, open pour cast aluminum finishes only, oxidation remover and metal brightener. I do this to my trailer once a month. So tomorrow's the 31st, which I got a really big day planned tomorrow. Thousand dollars worth of work. Good way to end uh, the month. But uh, first thing you gotta do is wet this thing down. I've wet it down and I mixed uh, three quarters of a gallon of water and one quart of pink power. And you can see it's dull. The trailer's dull. You know, it's just looking dingy. You know, it's been working for a month um, out there in the field. I try to keep it as best as I can. But when you got to work every day, and I mean, all in all, it looks pretty damn good. But uh, just wait until you see it after the treatment. It's a very simple procedure. Just spray this stuff on, let it sit a little bit. It's going to foam up white. Then you just rinse it off, and it's easy as that. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Check this out. See how it's all foamed up? It's all foamy looking. It's just tearing all that stuff off there. The stains all underneath there. Just let it sit, marinate for about 10 minutes, and I mean, it's going to be... It's going to be showroom finish when it comes off of here. All right. I see have one little spot that I missed. Going to have to take care of that. We'll be back for the final rinse down. It's looking good. All right. She's ready for the rinse. Very simple. Just rinse it on down. Make sure you rinse it really good. All right, I think you get the idea. We'll be back for the final, final look at her. And simple maintenance. And uh, the better you look when you pull up at the job, the more customers, they're dazzled by you. So, and they want to hire you. I put my ad uh, with a picture of my rig in the ad. And people call me just because they look at the rig. Anyway, image means a lot. Get after it. Hey, Don's back here. Hey, another real important tip. If you do happen to find that pink power, at your local store. They sell it at Ameritech over in Tampa. Make sure you rinse this out because it is abrasive. I mean, I'm rinsing it out a lot and I'm gonna put chlorine in it after and spray some of that through there because if you don't do that, it's gonna crystallize that tip down there. I don't know why it does it, but you won't be able to use it again. I mean, just rinse it out real good. And then don't ever mix chlorine and that together because ba boom ba. But you can rinse it out real good and put chlorine back in it, and then I don't, it uh, stops it from doing the crystallization. All right, we'll be right back with the final look. All right, let's have a final look at the, the work that was done. Everything is nice and shiny. Look at that. Everything looks good. Just got to wipe down the machines here. Get a little bit of machine spray on there to get that. Cleaned up a little bit better. Toolboxes look great. Don't remember. 
Just remember, don't touch my shit. Everybody should have one of them stickers. Boy, she looks clean. So, when I pull up to the job, this is what you see. You're a new customer. When you look at that, what are you gonna say? I would say, wow. Hope the guy knows how to use all that stuff. <laughs> We're finding that around town lately. I was talking to a customer, my last customer on Friday, and he said he had a couple guys show up with fancy stuff, but they couldn't find their, couldn't hit their ass with both hands, so he run them off. So uh, he found me, and he's happy with my work. And uh, do a good job. All you got to do to be successful is get after it. Always a good idea to start everything up after you're done. Make sure you're good to go. super blast pressure washing and it's just that easy maintain your equipment do a good job and always get after it see you tomorrow after the long day's work monday the last day of the month gonna be a good one hey don here from super blast well i hope you all enjoyed the um the uh cleaning of the trailer how to take care of your aluminum that's a good product pure pink power gets the job done right every time you don't have to mix it but one to three, which is pretty good. A quart to three quarters of a gallon of water gets her cleaned up nice. Now it looks brand new again. But anyway, that's a contractor tip to take care of your aluminum and keep your image looking great. Uh, if you look good and you work good and you know, know how to get things done, you're going to go far in this business. It's a money-making, profitable business. Um, I had a very good year last year it's going to be hard to top it as a single uh washer guy so i did two hundred eleven thousand last year man that's going to be tough for me to beat that because i do work by myself anyway i'm going to get after it and i'm going to give it hell y'all have a great day keep those trailers clean